Hello po mga kasamang guro. Ngayon po ay tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-tag sa Learner Information System gamit ang LES and Survey Tagging Facility. So, una, kailangan muna natin maintindihan ng ilang mga reminders. So, this tagging facility is only available for learners who were previously included in the list for school year 2019-2020. So lahat po ng mga na-enrolled natin noong last school year ang pwede lang nating itag. Next, for incoming grade 1 to grade 11 learners, the previous school advisor, school year 2019-2020, will be the responsible for tagging learners in the system. So maliwanag po dito na yung kanilang dating advisor ang po pwedeng mag-tag. Kasi sila po ang nakakaalam at nakakakilala ng kanilang mga estudyante. Siyempre, yun din ang mga nasa listahan ng kanilang LIS. For incoming grade 12, the previous system admin, school year 2019-2020, will be responsible for tagging learners in the system. So, yung ating mga system admin sa ating mga senior high school, o kaya naman ay yung mga registrar, ang uh, po pwedeng mag-tag sa learner system. So narito po ang procedure for tagging the learner. Siyempre, uh, you need to go to our list website. Type lang po ang list.tepet.gov.ph doon sa ating address bar. At ilag in ang uh, school advisor account. Once logged in, click the Learner Information System link. Ito po yun. Next, sa ating uh, mga tab, click the Master List tab. Then, click the Select Item button. Click lang po yung arrow down there. Then, Narin dyan sa drop down list ang LESF link o ang Learner Enrollment and Survey Form link. Under the second drop down list, click the Not Tag as LESF option. Then lalabas po doon ang list ng learner's name to be tagged. Under the option column, click the pencil icon. So, narito po ang ating pencil icon. Next, accomplish the following enrollment and survey questionnaires. In grade level and school information group box, for grade level to enroll, click the drop down list, select the grade level. So, select nyo po yung grade level ng inyong estudyante. For school information, type the school ID or school name in the text box. Please make sure to pick the correct school as there are schools with the same name. So, syempre, merong mga school na magkakaparehas ang pangalan kaya uh, mahalaga na alam nyo rin ang school ID. So, pag tinipe ninyo ang school ID, lalabas na rin yung school name. For incoming grade 11 to 12 learners, the following additional information are required. For grade level to enroll, click the drop down list to select the semester. For track, click the drop down list to select the track. For strand, if any, click the drop down list to select the strand based on the track selected. So, ang option po na ito ay para lang sa mga senior high school students. Next, for learners with special education needs group box, for do you have assistive technology devices available at home, click the yes or no radio button. If yes, radio button is selected, 
please specify the assistive technology devices available at home in the text box. Kung no naman, so no need na rin itong lagyan. In father, mother, guardian group box, boxes, full name is automatically displayed based on the information encoded during enrollment in the system. So hindi na kailangan i-encode yung full name kasi lalabas na dun sa system yung uh, name, father or mother or ng guardian. For highest educational attainment, click the drop down list to select from the list. If other is selected, complete the specify, please specify text box. For employment status, click the drop down list to select from the list. For working from home due to community quarantine, click the yes or no radio button. For contact numbers, input the contact numbers in the text box. So itatay po ninyo yung contact numbers sa text box. So, narito po yung pinakang paglalagyan. In household capacity and access to distance learning group, for how does your child go to school? Tick all applicable check boxes. So, pwede po kayong mag-select ng isa o higit pa sa check box. For how many of your household members, including the enrollee, are studying in school year 2020-2021? Input the number of students for school year 2020-2021 in your household in the corresponding text box per grade level. So kung meron kayong, uh, limbawa ay may kapatid, ang estudyante na grade 2, so lagyan niyo po dito ng uh, number, type niyo 1. Meron siyang kapatid na grade 11, lagyan nyo rin ng 1. Kung meron siyang kapatid na ng college, lagyan nyo rin siya ng 1 sa box na ito. For who among the household members can provide instructional support to the child's distance learning, pick all applicable check boxes. So, sino ba yung mga nagsusupport sa pag-aaral ng mga bata? Pwede po natin select Dito po pwede magulang, Pwede mga kapatid, mga lolo o lola, o naman mga tiyo or mga tiyahin. For what devices are available at home that learners can use for learner, tick all applicable check boxes. If the other check box is selected, please specify the text box provided. Do not use others for options that are already in the list. So dito, pipiliin po natin ang mga devices na available sa tahanan. Kung nandito na naman po sa option, i-click na lang. Huwag nang maglagay dito sa please specify. Or do you have a way to connect to the internet? Click the yes or no radio button. If yes radio button is selected, how do you connect to the internet? It will be displayed. Take all applicable checkbox. So narito po yung mga paraan kung paano ka makakonect sa internet. Pwede uh, sa own mobile data, broadband internet tulad ng DSL, wireless or satellite. Pwede rin naman sa computer shop or pwede naman sa ibang lugar tulad ng library, barangay o municipal hall na may free wifi. For what distance learning modalities do you prefer for your child? Tick all applicable checkbox. So ito po yung mga distance modalities na po pwedeng piliin ng bata sa kanyang pag-aaral. Pwedeng online learning o pwede silang manood sa television, makinig sa radyo, modular learning, o module, or pwede rin namang face-to-face -face and other modalities, combination. For what are the challenges that may affect your child's learning through distance education? Tick all applicable check boxes. If the other box is selected, please specify in the text box provided. So ano ba yung mga challenges ng inyong mga estudyante? So pwede yung uh, lack of available gadgets, insufficient data load, unstable mobile internet, 
pwede po nating piliin ang mga nag apply Tick the checkbox before I hereby certify that the above information given are true and correct to the best of my knowledge and I allow the Department of Education to use my child's details to create and or update his or her learner profile in the learner information system. The information therein shall be treated as confidential in compliance with the Data Privacy Act of 2012. Kailangan po natin i-click ang ating Certification Information Box. Then, click the Submit button to save the enrollment and survey tag for the learner or the selected learner. A please complete the form notification message will be displayed for required fields not completed. Kung meron man po kayong uh, naiwanan o hindi nagawa, lalabas po ito. Ibig sabihin, dapat pong kumplituin ang lahat ng informasyon. A learner's LESF has been created. Notification message will be displayed once successfully submitted. So lalabas naman na learner's LESF has been created kung successful ang inyong pag a -create. So that's it. Kung makita na ninyo, okay na. Naitag nyo na na mabuti ang inyong mga estudyante. So yun lang at maraming salamat. Hanggang sa muli.